I don't know where you are when you're watching this, but I'm in Norway and it's beginning to look a lot like Easter. But we're in the middle of June, so that's that's something. And I thought it was about time to talk about the year so far. So this is something I've been doing each year since I started this YouTube channel. And it's nice for me to recap my reading so far and maybe find out what am I doing wrong this time. At least that's how it feels. I haven't given out a lot of five stars yet this year and it bothers me a bit. But then again, I haven't really read any of the authors that I usually like, except from Murakami. And yeah, we'll just go through some of the books and talk about my feelings. So enjoy the ride if you can. The goal for this year was basically not to have a goal. So reading 12 books was what I was going to do. That I've done, I've read 33 books so far. And that means that I should be able to relax. But I'm not, of course. The only other goal I had was to read five classics. I've read two of them now and I am a bit nervous. So this month I'm not going to read any Nordic novels and two of them are Nordic. So that means I have to wait. And Amalia Skram with her Helmish Folke is quite a chunker. So that will probably take up some time and energy, but we'll get there in the end. And I do enjoy having classics as a goal because that means that I'll slowly get through a lot of them and some of them are enjoyable. So there's that. Towards the end of each year, what I usually do is try to find out what were my favorite books of that year. Some years it's, it's quite obvious and some years I have to go through my Goodreads feed and try to find out which of these books did I give five stars to. It's not always that I remember. So the only one that I've gotten a five star so far this year is The Twin Diaries by Agatha Kirchhoff. It got its five star because it's pretty messed up. And it's about two young boys being sent to their grandmother and they develop a like a probably psychopathic diagnosis or something along those lines. I'm no expert, but they're pretty cray cray. And I did enjoy reading it. So that's the only five star I've given out so far. That's a bit of a disappointment since five star reads is what I'm here for. I saw this poll the other day and that was something like free books for the rest of your life or only reading books that you give five stars. That's That could also get a bit boring, but I would enjoy having more of those in my mind. I think one of the biggest reasons why I can't find new five star reads is my willingness and desire to try out new things. So I could become one of those people that just try to find my niche and just stuck with it. But I do try to escape my usual roots or my usual go to reads and try to find new stuff. And one of the my pleasant surprise so far this year have been reading the Purge by Sophie Oxanen. So this is one of the winners of the Nordic Lit Council Literature Prize. I can never become comfortable saying that word name outright. But anyhow, that's where we are. This is about a young woman being like found on the doorstep of this older woman and their two stories are intertwined and explained. And it was really, really cool. All of these books I have talked about before, so you can check out my wrap up so far this year if you if you like. Another one from the same award is The Wednesday Club by Kjell Vester. It's set in Finland right before the Second World War. And there, there are stories about, I think it's five men and then a, like a side plot going on and it develops. And it's really, really interesting. Kjell Vester has recently released, published a new book. so. That's also cool. Then I have more books to read at some point. I think that's also one based around the Second World War. I feel like that's that's a big thing. Then of course we have Murakami and the city and its uncertain walls. I can't remember the English translation at the moment. It's being published in English in uh, November and I liked it as I like most of the things Murakami does. So that's probably what I'll do this summer, reading one of his bigger books. 
I have several that I haven't read so far of his. It's Kafka on the Shore, for example. And yeah, I, I haven't decided on which one to go to, but I'm going to a festival later this month and then I'll bring one of his bigger books. At least that's my pl plan at this point. But we'll never know what... We'll know, but we don't know yet. Last one I think about when I think about this year in reading so far is Heaven by Meiko Kawakami. This one was just sadness all over the place and that's about it. But after reading it, it, ha it has made an impression on me that I can't shake off. And I have actually toyed with the idea of reading another one of hers quite soon. But anyway, sometimes I read books and it's just something that sticks with you and it's not always easy to know why. And I love those reads and those reads are often more powerful than ones that I instantaneously love for a specific reason or like the five star read here. I'm pretty sure that I'll remember this book for longer even though I didn't give it a five star. And well, I don't know about you. Do you go back and re-rate your, re-rate, is that the word? Do you go back into your Goodreads and then undo some choices you've made? Have you ever bumped up a book from a four to a five in Goodreads? Or I haven't done that myself yet, but at some point I'm sure I will. My plan was also to make a list of the books that had disappointed me so far this year, but I haven't really been that disappointed. Most of my books have been three or four stars, which could mean that I've found my way into like a normal reading state, but I feel like everyone around me has more ups and downs than me when it comes to reading and that I should do something about it. So my, my plan now, or my next step is to take a month reading only sequels or other books from authors I've only read one book from before. I have so many names of authors where I've given high ratings, loved the book, and then just never read any more of their books to see if that could bring me up where I belong. <laughs> we'll, we'll see, but I, I do like the idea. So one of the months for the rest of the year, I'll read a sequel or a, like another book from an author I have loved. So if you have watched my videos and you know what books I love, you can recommend me one if you want to, but I guess that's quite a big task. You can also watch all my wrap-ups if you want to. That would bring my watching time all the way up to a level I haven't been before, I guess. So that would also be nice. So that's something. Anyway, that's sort of the plan. And it's not always easy to stick to a plan. Sometimes I have a plan and then I read a book that makes me want to read another book instead of the one that I have chosen from before and that all makes it a bit complicated. And this year was all about not having goals, but still having the five classics is probably enough pressure, it seems so at least. And I'm constantly trying to find my joy of reading and I feel like I've lost it a little bit. At least I've lost my ability to sit down in the evenings and pull up a book and just sit there and focus. Often when I read now, I, I'm reading when I'm not in my house, I'm on a plane or a bus or somewhere where it's a bit noisy and where I'm not at home, which is not as strange maybe, but I miss those days where I just sit down in my own couch and read books because I don't do that this that much anymore. So still trying to find my focus. And I guess that has to do with focus in general and not so much about books maybe, but it's a work in progress. I have to put my phone down a bit more than I have been doing. So that's, that's also a plan. Since I'm pretty hung up on five star reads at the moment, how many of the books that you've read so far this year have gotten a five star rating? Please comment below if you feel like it. So I guess this was it. We're halfway in 2024. Let's hope that the rest of the year brings with it a lot of good books. So thank you for watching this video. If you have recommendations for books, as always, leave them down below. I got a lot of good recommendations last week. I've put them on list and now I'm going to try to find those books cheaper than full price. 
that's all I'm saying. So I'm constantly on the lookout for new adventures and I do take all of your recommendations seriously. It's not that, it's just sometimes hard to find them at a decent price I find. So that journey continues. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in next week. Bye!